Hi, my name is Hilda. I'm 20 years old. Um, I come from a tiny town of Broken Hill and I've lived there all my life. I have an eye condition called Lebus amaurosis. Um, and um, the only remaining vision I have is light perception. When I was at school I thought I was like everybody else and I had to actually have someone sit me down and explain to me that I was, I was blind and that I actually couldn't see. So yeah, I am very stubborn by nature. I, I like to tr try and do things on my own. I don't like being told I can't do something because then that makes me more determined to actually find out whether I really can't do it or if I can and people are just telling me I can't. Uh, I have been in and out of foster care all my life but really my main connection to my f biological family is my big sister and my dad and I think leaving them behind was really really hard for me but I did it and they are happy for me because I have actually done a lot here in, in Coffs and I've managed to develop a bit more of a life here for myself. Uh, being a foster child all my life, I, I've had to go to different meetings and, um, and access different services. But instead of being able to talk for myself and actually say what I would like, people were talking for me and saying what they think I would uh, what I would like or what I wanted or what I needed to. I wanted to move out of Broken Hill to be able to access m more services and to be able to make decisions for myself. Whereas here in Kos I am able to um, I'm able to talk for myself and I'm able to self-manage what I want and, and how I want to do it. The thing with person-centred, I think, is you're able to make your own decisions about what you want to do instead of people telling you, you're going to do bowling today and that's what you're doing because we told you to. And being able to speak for myself is, a, I think, a really big confidence booster for me because I've been able to um, express my own opinions rather than other people expressing their opinions for me. I have a, a really strong network here as well and a really strong support network that would assist me with, with things if I needed it. It's more pointing me in the right direction which I like a lot better because I'm still able to independently make my own decisions. Also I met my, um, my partner online and um, we would, and you know we wanted to be able to live together. He was my sole reason for moving was to be able to to live with him and be with him and to start a life together. I've only got oh two and a bit months to go really until the little one is born and we found out he's a little boy. Everybody has just been great. My team at the hospital they have made this pregnancy goes so well and so smoothly. Um, it has actually been quite a challenge, I think, organizing, um, we're organizing our plans now, um, both Daniel and I, because it's not just Daniel and I anymore, it's going to be Daniel and I and our little boy. It has and it will be a big, um, big change, but I think it's going to be a good change. I am terrified really of the whole doc system finding out about my baby because I have been an ex foster child and I would still be on the system whether um, you know they will see that and you know automatically question my um, my responsibility as a mother uh, whether I'll be a good mum or not is um, it makes me very scared to know that you know because I've been in that system I want to try I want to keep my baby out of that. <laughs>